In today's video, we are going to make this delicious banana bread, but with a twist, we'll be making the healthier version using rolled oats and other substitute ingredients for a guilt-free yummy treat. Let's begin. I'll be using rolled oats, one and a half cup of this, Actually, pa din diretso na siya sa bowl. Pero, ang gusto ko kasi, binibake ko siya para maging golden. And medyo, I guess, crispy ng konti. You don't need to do this. Pwede niyo na lang siya idiretsong ihalo sa dry ingredients nyo. But, this is just me. So, this is one and a half. Just lay it like this. And then, bake lang natin ng mga 5 to 8 minutes. Okay, so in a large bowl, dito natin gagawin yung ating dry, I mean yung wet ingredients natin. I have here some bananas, ripe bananas, nilagay ko siya sa fridge. So, this recipe, best to kung talagang itim na itim na talaga yung bananas nyo. I'll be using four of these. Oops. Honestly, I'm just experimenting dito. <laughs> Kasi... Ngayon pa lang ako gagamit ng um, oatmeal sa aking banana bread. Hopefully, maganda yung kalabasan niya. Now that we have it, hapon ko na to. Just smash it. So, pagdating doon sa bananas, hindi ko siya super duper minamash kasi gusto ko yung medyo may konting chunk sa aking banana bread. But, nasa sa inyo na yan. Ganito, okay na sa akin to. Can you see it? Okay na sa akin to. Next, we add in our milk. This is our fat-free milk. Our butter. Then, we continue to whisk it. Whisk, whisk, whisk. Okay, so what I usually put is white sugar or brown sugar actually combined. Kaso, I want to be healthier. So I'm going to be using coconut nectar, honey. Ooh, this is by Oro Coco. Healthy and vegan. Yan. Talagay ko sa description kung saan ko siya nabili. This is a honey substitute. Gawa siya sa coconut flower nectar and naturally processed to achieve that sweet honey taste and texture. So yun, mas healthier, oops, mas healthier version siya. So yun yung ilalagay natin. This much. Add two eggs, one at a time, and continue to whisk. Add vanilla extract. Set it aside and mix in the dry ingredients. Next. I'll be using almond flour para maging gluten-free, vegan, and keto-friendly siya. You can use this kung naghahanap kayo ng substitute. Also, kasi para yung almond. Wala kasi akong pecan or walnuts. So, ito na lang gagamitin ko. You can use whole wheat flour or all-purpose flour if you like. Baking soda. Baking powder. Ground cinnamon. Ooh. Oh my gosh, this is hard. Okay, I'm gonna fix that.
shoot, nalimutan ko i-add yung <laughs> coconut oil. Don't forget that. <laughs> Transfer it in a pan. Make sure that you grease it or add wax paper in. Then add the batter. Bake it for about 65 minutes to 1 hour and 5 minutes, 180 degrees Celsius. In the meantime, while our banana bread is in the oven, I'd like to thank our sponsor of the day, Orococo. So Orococo is a local brand that provides products that are all natural, vegan, and non-GMO, deliciously healthy products made from coconuts. Coconuts from Oroqueta City, Mindanao. So local brand siya, guys. Support local dapat tayo. I'm using their product right now, Virgin Coconut Oil. Best use sa uh, um, pang baking, pang luto, also pang skin and hair. And their other product, Coconut Nectar Honey Alternative. It's the best use for pancake, coffee, tea, or for baking. Pang substitute sa sugar, um, tulad ng ginagawa natin ngayon, banana bread. Guys, if you want to buy this product, this product, or this product, all you have to do is go to their social media platforms. I'll be linking it below. Also on their Shopee page, and on lahat ng available products nila. And use my voucher code ORAKERA to get 10% discount up until April 20, 2022. So guys, after nyo panoorin tong video na to, go check out their page. But for now, let's get our banana bread. Dang, that's so pretty. Bam, bam, beat em. So let it cool down lang ng one hour. Then saka natin siya tatanggalin. Ayan. Mainit pa kasi hindi pa natin siya pwede tanggalin ng ganito. And then we're gonna be serving it na. And here is our oatmeal banana bread ready to be served. You know what? Let's celebrate life. To more yummy recipes. I love that. I'm living my life, guys. But this recipe, hindi mo mararamdaman na healthy siya. Not in a bad way. Like, with this, hindi mo mararamdaman na low carb and healthy dessert siya. To be honest with you, mas masarap pa to sa unang banana bread na ginawa ko. Maybe it's because mas sweeter siya. And also gusto ko yung crunch nito. 